Welcome to Nazo Gaming, everybody. We are back with episode four of our playthrough through Hogwarts Legacy. We are just going to jump right into it and get it going. So join me, grab a snack, grab a drink, sit back, relax, and enjoy as we play through another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, we did we did a good, I think we're like six hours in at this point. And we're just going to keep it going. We got a lot to do today on it. We're going to see what we can get doing. I hope you guys are having a great day. Ericus, you made it in time. Good to see you back here, Ericus. Good to see you back here. You made it right for the beginning of it too. Sugi, you're here too. Good, good. Good to see y'all. All right, I got to meet Richard Jackdaw at the Forbidden Forest. 1K Payne, what's up, Nazo? You think they'll bring back the Merlin robe in the future? I'm not sure. I mean, most people were saying that it is, um, that was like the end of it. Like that Friday was the last time to get it. But I would assume, you got to think, they're coming out with uh, an Xbox original version as well as like, you know, Switch version. So I'm sure... I would have to think that they're going to be doing another live stream for those releases. And I would assume that they'll probably do drops for that. And th th I think they'll bring back the Merlin Merlin's cloak because a lot of the console gamers are going to be kind of upset that they don't have um, the opportunity to get that since they weren't necessarily keeping up with it because it wasn't out for them yet. So we'll see. But as far as I know right now, it's not coming back out. That's so why I, I did try to make the video on YouTube so that everyone could grab it while it was still a thing. But I understand a lot of people missed it. I did make it kind of late. Um, I was kind of behind on it myself, so. I, we gotta go like way down there. I'm like way too far up this. It'd be nice if I had a uh, broom already. Ericus, it was probably a limited time thing. That's what I'm thinking too, but you never know. With those kinds of things, you just never know what they'll do to bring it back. I gotta assume this is gonna hurt me. Eh, wasn't that bad. Is it just me or does the player voice off? What do you mean, Sugi? It's almost like double? Is it just my stream? What do you mean? I just really started, oh, oh, you mean in the game? I don't know, like, it depends. It, I think I know what you're saying. So, Sugi, when you make the player's voice and you do, like, the pitch, if you pitch, like, I pitched mine in the center and it sounded the most like they didn't do any effects to the voice, when you pitched it either down or up, it definitely seemed like there was overlap. Like there was like two voices playing and it really threw me off too. So I went with the middle of the voice pitch because I, I didn't like the way it sounded. And I think that's what you're talking about. Oh, I didn't mean to Lumos him. Defeat Mongrel's challenge unlock. Nice. Take some Mongrel fur. Yeah, I think I did. You, you probably pitched it one way, you know, up or down, and it, um, the way they did it, it just sounds awful to me. And yeah, you didn't notice until you're in game. That's when it's the worst because it's like it's too late. I guess I go down here. Yeah, 1K pain though. I we'll see. We'll see what happens with the drops. I will obviously be updating everyone on the YouTube if that's where you're coming from. Um, if not, word. check it out. Hey, another first time chatter, Lofty Guy Eleven. Hey, thanks for the lilac ensemble. I was lurking during your last stream, but playing the game myself at the same time, so I wasn't really paying attention. Hey, I appreciate the lurk. You do not have to pay attention. I appreciate the lurk. It helps the uh, Twitch algorithm. So a lurk, even if, if you're just gonna lurk, I appreciate that as well. But thanks for joining and chatting. Thank you for uh, hanging out. I need the I need the viewership at the moment to get the Twitch affiliate. So even if you're just going to hang out and lurk, if you're going to play the game yourself, I appreciate leaving a tab open and leaving a lurk. It absolutely helps so much. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. 
I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I haven't <laughs> paid much attention in school. Shall we? Let's go. Jackdaw's rest quest started. Aside from Alrighty. Our, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll a see. lake. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Oh. Rebellio. Pretty sure we're not supposed to be in the forbidden forest, but you know. Hmm. Yes. Oh, it's you a full flame. The closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave. Okay, itchy nose. Off the guy, in my opinion, the game is already great at this point, but gets exponentially better after this mission. Oh, awesome. Good to hear. Is that Latin or Greek? Because it's been a, hmm. an incredible game even thus far, so I can't imagine it getting that much better, but I would assume it gets incredible. So I have to just go without him now? Is he going to follow? Oh. Did that kill it already? How did that kill it? Oh, it's going to appear behind me, ain't it? <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I love the combat. Oh, that thing's bigger. Ow. Oh, okay. <laughs> Eric is GG, yeah. I would say so. That doesn't even do anything to it. I need the, uh, like, powers. The dark magic. I need me a dark magic. Do I not get dark magic against this? Or ancient magic. I shouldn't be saying dark magic. There we go. Oh, that didn't even hit it. There we go. Dang. <laughs> that was pretty insane. Does that thing hit me that hard? Dang. I'm gonna have to mix more potions. I don't know if I'm supposed to be here yet, being that I'm so low level, and those things were like a 20. Incendio. So it's going to be that hard going through this whole thing, huh? <laughs> we got mad spiders going on. Oh my god. Alright, let me uh, see if some people will jump on here.
I'm only like a level 10 lofty guy. Only level 10 right now. I think a 10 or 11 I just got to. So I'm pretty low level and I'm going up against level 20 spiders here. <laughs> I got this. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see. For a thief, Jackdaw surprisingly as good as his word. What? Waterfall. That, that's gonna be up there somewhere. Find. Oh, oh! Look at him. Look at the deer. <laughs> They're cute. Eric is good luck. Thank you. Thank you. What's in here? Oh wait. What the hell is down there? Centaurs? Yo, there's centaurs down that way. I gotta go up this way, though. I got, like, no potions left, though. So hopefully, uh... Hopefully I can take on whatever comes here. Interesting. Puff skins! Puff skins! Hello, little ones! Can I climb? Scorsaza, hey Nazo. Hey Scorsaza, how you doing? Thank you for joining. I appreciate it. Even if you have to leave a lurk, you got some other stuff to do. I appreciate the lurk. I just need to get them consecutive numbers up. Everything else I have. Thanks for joining and thanks for first chat and good to see you. I need to, uh, I don't think I had any more potions, but we're going to do it without the potions, I guess. No worries, man. Affiliate is a grind, but it's worth it. I appreciate it. Ripcord99. Thank you for the follow. Thank you so much. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I figured I'd stream this. I got some stuff. Corsaza, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm going to uh, stream some Hogwarts Legacy gameplay for about probably an hour and a half, two hours. And then I have some stuff to do in the game that I'm going to go and then take and turn into some long form YouTube content. Um, I have an idea for what people are looking for in early game and I want to make a video for it. Yeah, I, I end up exploring a lot too. I try to stick to the missions, but it's hard. Oh, that opens that. I knew it. Oh, wait, we can mix potions right here, I think. Is this not a potions table? Oh, that would have been nice. Thank you for the lurk. I appreciate the lurks, guys. If you're going to leave the stream, I appreciate the lurks. Oh, what is that? Come at me. <laughs> oh, I meant to dodge that. Well, I just had to dodge it instead of blocking it. You're just doing some editing? Good to hear. Editing, content creating, it's all good to have. All right, let's not die here. All right, well, I might die here. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I need that. I need that throw. There we go. No risk. The loyalists will report. I got it. I got it. Let's see where Jack Doris led me. All right, I got a wig and well potion that time, and I'm, I guess you heal up after battling. So if I like stay alive, I can just not heal up. How nice to see you, my young friend. Well, I did not mean to hit that. <laughs> well, if you got nice, I just totally used that wig and well potion, which I'm probably gonna need later. But that's all right. We'll figure it out. Oh, we got one back. All right. 
What's this? Leech juice. I guess I'll need those later. <laughs> we'll see. All right, let's go in here finally. Cause I don't want to get done with this mission and I want to go make some money. Cause once we get the um, broom unlocked, I want to be able to buy a pretty cool broom and we're going to show everyone how to make some quick money in the game. You rely way too much on Confringo? Oh, I rely way too much on like the regular attack and I need to start using like better attacks. Like I don't even know if I have, oh, I do have Expelliarmus. I need to put this on here instead of having Lumos on. Unless I need Lumos, I don't really need it on my wheel until I really need it. Disillusionment. But yeah, I think the rest of these I'm going to keep the way they are. Leviosa, Confringo, and then a Cursed Expelliarmus. Yeah, see, that's nice. Expelliarmus is going to be good to have on here, and I should have had it on this whole time, but I forgot. <laughs> Completely obliterates. Oh, nice. They're spiking. Hork lump juice. This place looks sick. Ah, oh, man, I need some drink. These fruits the cursed talents make for amazing combos against store. groups. I didn't even get like those unlocked yet, the talents. Hmm. My water's too full. <laughs> Yeah, I need to get the talents unlocked still too, because then you, <coughs> excuse me, you can uh, really do some damage with that. Incendio. I can shoot the symbol, but it doesn't stay lit for long. Oh, I got no time to do it. They're huge when you unlock them. Yeah, that's what I figured. It looks like they'll be like a big uh, aspect to the game. Before they time out on me. Have reset. Okay, that did it. <laughs> oh, that looks so nice. Someone did, in my YouTube video said that this uh, looks a little bit washed out at times, and I think I see what they mean. Like, the stuff in the distance kind of gets like a foggishness over it. And I don't know if that's like a graphical thing because I, um, low, um, like I'm only on medium settings because my computer ain't that great. Plus I'm streaming. I need to update my computer. But if it's not, and it's the thing that happens anyway, then you never know what they're going to come out with as far as updates and like mods and stuff. Sugi, I have a GTX 1070. It's the same on console. Yeah, but that's lower. Like, what What about like a 4090? What's a 4090? Oh, I didn't mean to have that with that. Like, what's a 4090 doing? I would assume that fog effect kind of is still there. That makes it look washed out, but... I still like the look of the game, even with that washed outness. And I would assume, you know, someone's going to come out with some cool graphic mods. Let's do that. Knock that one out. Oh, I didn't mean to hit Incendio that far. Oh. Shit. Incendio. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Uh, so do you. I would assume it would be ray tracing to make it better, but I don't know. It's pretty, to be fair. Yeah, it is still very pretty. And, like, I guess someone was just saying it looks washed out. And I guess I get what they mean. But it's, uh, I think it's more of a preference thing. Whatever people like. Visually what they like. 
Your 1070 is dying bad though. I, everyone keeps saying that their stuff's dying from that era and I'm, I'm so worried about mine going down the tube. I am, I'm worried about it. Oh. Uh, there's a chest in here, I need it. <laughs> but I do plan on building a new PC. Um, I'm actually like working on... Are these things even gonna attack me? Oh, I guess they are. Oh, maybe not. If I don't get that close. I hope this looks good on last gen. Alright, there they go. Oh, man, that, oh, why is that one so close to me? All right, that one took that one out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that comes out of nowhere. Oops. I hit, I totally hit Protego. So do I. I would assume it would be ray tracing. Uh, I hope this looks good on the last gen. Yeah, um, Ericus, I, I, I mean, the fact that they're taking a little bit longer to come out with the game on the old consoles, I would assume that they're trying to make it look and run better. So you got to hope that it does. And I mean, I'm only running on medium settings, so even if it looks this good and runs this good, I would assume that it would be fine on the last gen consoles. As long as they did it correctly, because it... It's weirder on PC because that when they usually do it, they're making them for consoles because they assume most people have consoles and that's where they're going to sell the majority of their copies. And then PC, they tend to screw up a bunch. Like people were having trouble with this early on. The optimization of it and everything. Even on like the newest gen GPUs, they were having problems with it. So I think it'll be all right on the old uh, on the old consoles. I think it'll be good. I think it'll be good to go. I don't think you got to worry about it. I think you'll have a fun time on it. My gear slots are full. Well, I want whatever's in that. So we're going to obviously... I might have to destroy something. <laughs> uh, that's all green. Do we have any gray stuff? Well, what I'm wearing... Why am I wearing this still? sell it for 60 though see i want to get rid of like cheaper stuff but like, i can destroy some stuff prioritize prioritize merlin trials from early on i did one of them already um i gotta go find some more after this though so as i am i do like those i like the the merlin trials a lot i gotta find some more of them dark herbologist hat i think we're gonna destroy this because I want to see what's in this uh, chest. Wait, can I not open this now? Or did I get it? Lofty guy, do you know about changing your gear's appearance? I got so far in the game before I realized that was possible all along. Wait, you can change like the appearance of the gear you have already? What do you mean by that? I guess map doesn't work in here, huh? Oh, I need to find more of those gobstones. Tr 
Transmog. I don't know if I have Transmog though. Let me see my gear. Oh, change appearance. Heh. <laughs> Literally right down there. Oh. That's where like all the stuff that we unlocked is. Like all the all the early on stuff that I did before the game, I made YouTube videos on how to get this stuff like through uh through the Wizarding World website and stuff. That's in here, the dark regalia gloves or the uh, regalia gloves. The dark arts gloves which we got from the uh, pre-order. Oh. I like the black rivet gloves though. These are nice though. These uh Hogwarts regalia gloves. I like those a lot. So this line where you uh so like on when you click on your or when you're hovering over it, you can see change appearance down in like the left hand corner of the box and you just hit for me, it's X on the Xbox controller. I guess that's pretty cool. It is like and then you just hit X and you hit X and then you get um, handware appearance. Invisible gloves. This item, this item will appear invisible. But then it's still. Oh, so you can even. All right, so that's really good because like the headwear, like I like that it gives me defense, but I don't want the hat on. <laughs> so what we can do with that is change the appearance and make it invisible, or we can make it into one of the other ones, like the dark arts garrison hat and stuff. But I just don't. I don't really want a hat on. I don't really like the hat, the hat look, so I'm going to go invisible headwear. Damn. <laughs> Yo, Lofty Guy and Scorsaza, thank you so much for that. Nebula, thank you for the relurk. I appreciate it. We're keeping above the three threshold, so hopefully that helps that 2.05 that I have. Um, that's crazy. That's actually really useful that I can make the things invisible that I don't want on. Like the glasses as well. Like, I like that the glasses give us, like, defense, but I don't want to wear these glasses. So, we'll put them on, and then we'll change the appearance and make them invisible. And then our character gets to be how we want him to look without sacrificing, like, the defensive stuff and the offensive stuff. No problem, it was game-changing for me. I also have invisible hat and glasses now. Yeah, that's, that's huge, because I just don't like them. And even like my neck where I don't necessarily like the look of it, but if there's a cooler one, maybe the dark art scarf. That one's pretty cool. But again, I think for now, I want to stick to as little as possible visible. I like my wand handle, though. I got the uh, the regal black wand handle with my like white looking wand. I think this looks sick. I'm really a big fan of white and black. The, the new PC I'm actually building is going to be like a white and black build. So I'm excited for that. See, this is lower. I need the traits. I need the trait things. Trait slot levels. But I don't have anything to put traits on it. Because like this robe is pretty cool. No, I'll just wear it anyway. It's only one lower defense. Screw it. And then the outfit, I think we do have a... No, see, this is still the best one we have, even though I like the look of this one better. But again, I think we can do. Let me actually try that. So let me do this. We go into here. Oh, look at that. Oh, we got Merlins or the house fanatic and Merlins. Where's Merlins? Oh, I'm supposed to have Merlins. Oh, it's yeah, I'm supposed to have Merlins robes. Where's Merlins robes, guys? I, I unlocked it. I know I did. The dark arts robe. Authentic Historian's robe, which is actually pretty cool as well. I do like the House Fanatic one, which we got from doing the uh, tests on the uh, website for that you connect to WB Games. You have to claim the Twitch drops on the Hogwarts Legacy site too. What? Like where I connected it, Ericus? Tune in. Check your Twitch inventory. Redeem. Oh, redeem. Redeem. 
Redeem. Redeem. Redeem. <laughs> That's so stupid. You redeem them on Twitch and then also redeem them on the Hogwarts Legacy website. All right, understandable. <laughs> It'll be there next time then. I'll put, for now, I kind of want the, uh, I want to I want to get used to wearing the House Fanatic robe right now because it's pretty cool. The Dark Arts robe is actually sick though. Look at this thing. It's stupid. Yeah, yeah, Eric, I don't understand that either. You got to do it both. Yeah, we're wearing this thing. I paid money for the pre-order to get the Dark Arts stuff. We're, we're totally wearing this thing for now. It's animated. That's so sick. Oh, wait, let me uh, change the appearance of this. What do we got for these? Oh, that looks so hot. Sick ass robe. Yeah, the dark arts one is just insane. That looks so cool. And even like the, with this set of um, clothing under it, it looks really cool. Real vampire-y. Uh, all right, that's good. I, I think I'm going to instead have the... I want black gloves too. What's the dark arts gloves look like? The dark arts gloves are pretty cool, but I think I like the full black on studded ones better with this. That's hot. Yeah, that's what, our, that's what we're going to look like now. The dark arts robe is animated, Squirt Saws. I didn't know either. This is the first time I'm looking at it. Look at that. Just look at my back. That's sick. Oh, I want to actually, um, while we're doing all this setup stuff, <laughs> I can put, um, I can put my face and stuff over here for you guys. So I think it'll take up less of like the UI. So if you, if you're wondering what's going on, it's uh, easier to, easier to follow. Yeah, I think for 10 extra dollars, I got the early gameplay release. I got this item, a couple more items, the um, like exclusive uh, mounts and stuff. What you know, well worth it. This is a sick looking robe. I don't know if you buy the um, bundle now, like the. Uh, I don't know. It wasn't it like a pre-order bonus for pre-ordering the deluxe edition. Someone would have to look that up for me. As much as I researched all this stuff, I can't remember it all. What is that? Sugi is the um, the dark arts robe a ex an exclusive for pre-orders those robes they're there so you had to pre-order right ah yes sugi says yeah so if you didn't pre-order it i'm sorry guys oh you can buy it after oh so oh, okay that's right they were gonna do the in-game purchases and not do like loot boxes or anything like that but do in-game purchases for the stuff that people may have missed yeah, the deluxe edition pre-order was only ten dollars more than the main game, and you got all this stuff. So I guess you can still buy. Oops, you can buy some of the stuff that was supposed to come in the pre-order if you didn't get it. That's right. Um, what the hell? What's this? Oh, I guess I need to probably jump to that. And then pull myself over. This is going to be cool. It's still available currently, at least. It was $20 extra for us. For console? It was only $10 extra for PC, wasn't it? I think I only bought this game for 70 bucks. Oh, for UK. That's right. That's right. Square size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. UK game prices always end up being uh, like $10. What we, we would call $10 more, but yeah, 10 units of monetary value more <laughs> that was a pretty cool puzzle i like that why can't i aim this way i can't break this it doesn't want me to 
friend bought the game for me and I am eh about it so I didn't have him do the extra 10. I myself don't really like the robes. Oh, you don't like the motion robes. Hey, whatever floats everyone's boats, whatever you guys like, you know. Violet lock scarf, nice. But where could he be? You prefer the long coat, Squirsaza? Nice. There's probably gonna be so many different things I switch to other than this one. But for now, this one's the coolest one I have. And then I also have the Merlin one. I unlocked the Merlin one, which I think is gonna be a really cool one to put on. Long coat and legendary armored shirt. You can use the left trigger to aim exactly where you want. Oh, that's right. I can do this. Not that that, n none of that did anything, but I like that I can still do that. Hmm. Kind of wish I bought the deluxe, but I need to save money. Eric, is that yeah? Hey. Whatever you gotta do. Where'd that go? There was something over there. Oh, there's like a chest in there. Can I get in there? Can I get in this little hole? No, doesn't look like it. Trying to speed run the curses too. <laughs> Oops. Trying to speed run to get all the curses. There's there's a lot to do in this game, man. Whoa. Dang, that killed both of them? Nice. Not a nice. skeleton in sight. Hmm, but I may as well help myself to this. <laughs> He's just taking stuff and talking to himself. Spider Fang. Alright, we did everything that way. We did everything that way, so let's go this way. I'm exploring this a lot, even though it, I, I can kind of see where it's telling me to go. I probably don't want to go down there. No. But there was... Yeah, there's, there was like a chest still over here somewhere. What? How? What? Hold up. Hold up. There's something in there. There's something in there, guys. There's something hidden in there. Incendio. Man, I wish I could get that out of the way. Hmm. It's like right, it's right, well, I guess it's not really right back there. It's like right there. It's like behind the rocks, though. <laughs> You would think it's like in that little cave right there. Revelio. And then you would go like down down to get it like right yeah, it's like right in that cave. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I think I can actually go. Can I go see that cave? No, I, can, I don't think I can get to that cave. Not yet at least. Alright, maybe we can go around some other way. Kill two enemies airborne? Wait, what? Why is there a spider behind me?
What a jerk off. <laughs> he spawned behind me. Another puzzle. Rebellion. Okay. Incendio. What? Accio. All right, Accio works, I guess, for it too. Even oh, I guess it's not this. It's not a fire symbol. It's just the symbol of ancient magic. <laughs> Remarkable. All right. Oh, yeah, I think in that chest might have been somewhere back here. So now we're going like kind of parallel to where we just were. Rebellion. Beautiful. Oh, there was more rock out there. Damn, I wish shorts counted for watch hours. Well, there is shorts watch hours as a different thing on YouTube, but you need like 10 million or a million or something watch hours. Some some ridiculous number. You only need four thousand for normal videos. So does basic cast. I did the exact same thing you did Incendio first, then Accio, and then later realized I could just use anything. Yeah, I guess it's literally just anything works. Ten million views in ninety days. Yeah, see that's that's insane. The four thousand. If you make decent content and get people watching, the four thousand hours actually goes a lot quicker than you think. And like some of it, like I would make like long form, like I did a lot of long, long form content, like literally just playthroughs like this. I'll edit them a little bit and upload them as full episodes so people can watch full playthroughs, which they people seem to like. And uh, it does well. Rebellion. More chess back here. I'm doing two long form as of last week. Two long form per, per week. That's I think what I'm what I'm aiming for. Two or three long form I do a week. Where I actually like sit there and plan something out, edit it That's together, odd. script I it out, all that. Would have been but then I do um no sign of him. I'll do like all my gameplays as real long forms, like uh the playthroughs I'll do basically every day. An episode of something every day. It's basically whatever I'm doing on stream anyway though. So I'm like I'm playing a full playthrough of Hogwarts Legacy, you get an episode of that every day, and then I'll do um some scripted out stuff as well. I know, and it's it's a lot of work. The scripted out stuff honestly takes more time. I don't know if I want to go down there yet. Yeah, Lofty Guy, now that I realize I can use any spell on those, uh, that's going to go a lot easier when I come back up to those puzzles. <laughs> it's going to make it a lot more... Uh, it's going to make it make a lot more sense. So did that just go... Yeah, that just went down here. The other one went up. All right. Moonstones, another one of these puzzles. All right. Uh, interesting. Let's say we have multiple ways to go here. Um, we have to obviously go left, but there's going to be more cool stuff these ways. Yeah, it's worth size. I keep doing it, and, uh, you, like, depending on how, like, much you've been editing, it gets easier and easier to edit, and you kind of get little workarounds for stuff, and... I'm glad Richard Jackson you just get better and better at it. Don't think perfection at first, like, I got people on my YouTube videos telling me that I missed this, or I should have did this way, and I, I was too long here, I was too long there, and... I mean, I'll, I'll look at it and take it into consideration and use it for the upcoming videos, but... The, you know, I'm early on in YouTube creation, and the, you're going to grow, and you're going to learn, and you're going to do better and better. Ah, squish, Shugi. Squish. I hope so. I'm relying far too much on shorts. Shorts help, though. I mean, but, like, I, I try not to... I try to use my long-form content to create shorts from. So I'll take, like, a clip of it and create shorts. Because most people that'll watch your shorts may not watch your, or not most, but like some people that may watch your shorts may not watch your long form content, but they'll watch your shorts and vice versa. So it ha helps to have both, but I try not to focus on shorts as like a creation thing, more of just like a promotion thing. 
What is that spider doing? What the hell's happening here? He's stuck in perpetual motion. There we go. <laughs> Dueling feeds ten, ten sec, more than ten seconds in the midair. That was a glitch, though. Oh, that was cool. That one's still alive? Oh, this is a different one. Ah, uh, fair enough. Yes, yeah, Cortaza, I mean, definitely do what works for you too. I mean, I just see what has been working on YouTube somewhat and, um... But if you find something that gets in your groove for your channel and your viewers, absolutely stick with it. An untouched chest. And definitely have fun with it. Tactile wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. I try not to, like, fret too much when I have to make the videos and try to have fun and do something that I would like to watch, and that helps create them as well. I think it it gives people a vibe of what they, you know, if you're if you're making what you would want to see, people other people would want to see it. My camera is super off center. I don't know what the hell I did to it. <laughs> it was a little messed up there. All right, I got to get rid of something out of my gear. Uh, we got more neckwear. Oh, this is locked because it's level eleven. I didn't, I didn't level yet. Uh, all right, we'll get rid of this. You took a lot of inspiration from cod content you enjoyed, so two new videos a week. Yeah, that usually works for a lot of people, and the cod content stuff was, and probably still is, very popular, especially with Modern Warfare Two out now. Um, so absolutely. Run with that kind of stuff. It'll, I'm sure it'll do well. Incendio. Wait, is this, I can just crawl through this now. Can I knock it through that? Interesting. Can I break this? Interesting. I would have thought that I would have been able to get through that, but no. <laughs> Guess I can't. We'll go back around. It's alright, I think there was another way we could go on that platform anyway, before I go into the main area. Did we get this chest? I did. Uh, oh. I thought that thing just, like, disappeared. We'll go to this one now. Cast stupefy at an enemy? There's one. Oops. There you go. Oops. I did not mean to do that. I meant to Protego. <laughs> will they even come out here? Oh my god, they will! What was that? <laughs> Yo, I did not think that they could flip that platform. <laughs> Yo, they yeeted that thing, though. Oh, God. I didn't think that could happen. Whew. That was cool. Good to know that they can flip that platform by just hitting it. You know? Now I know. We'll do better next time.
It stays over there too, just like uh, f where it was <laughs> from when I died. And I got it this time. I was messing up before. There we go. Boom. Easy peasy now. Like, was this just... Nah, you couldn't get through there. Nah, 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 nah. They definitely got the spider idea from Harry Potter too. Oh yeah. Gear slots are full again, man. Why, why do they make the gear slots so tiny? Like every time I go to pick up any chest, it's like gear slots full, but then you, I don't know, you get rid of some and then they're right back to being full, like two seconds. I hope that they eventually, in the game, do you get more gear slots? Cause that would be nice. Like, I don't want to get rid of any of this stuff. Or can I store it somewhere? Is there like a drop box somewhere? I'll get rid of this. Pattered turban. What the hell? What's that noise? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Got random noises playing. Wigan Weld? Nice. Two coins? Two Where whole coins? Wow, so generous, so generous. JD the Gaming Wolf, Lucky Charms, how you doing JD? Welcome to chat JD, good to see ya. Good to see ya. All right, let's go more this way, I guess. I need some Lucky Charms in this game right now. Oh, good thing I stopped there. All right, that gave us some coinage. So Gear slots are full again. Would have been interested. Dang, man. These gear slots. Killing me. We can get rid of this. Mm, I can also get rid of this. I mean, I could sell all this stuff for 60 coin, but I want to be able to pick up better stuff right now, and then I'll, I'll sell the no other stuff eventually. Noblesse coat. There's more stuff that way. Hmm. Akio. Okay. I'm just exploring this entire cave right now. <laughs> more Wigan Welds? Nice. I needed those. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left them Ornate two tone gloves. But where could he be? Nice. Was that everything? I think that was everything. Looks 
Because then the last path came from here. Which was the start of this thing anyway. Yeah, so that just took us, took us back to right here, which is where we need to go anyway. Yeah, that's right there. All right, good. Let's see what's over here. There it is. The bridge, it's almost complete. Oh. Oh, hell yeah. All right. These Nice. <laughs> There's a victory that came none too soon. Oh shit. <laughs> so much for that. Boom. That's why we saved that up. Oh, that one I can't protect against though. Ow. There we go. Oh, that wasn't going to reach him? I thought that was. Dang. We're getting good at this combat thing. <laughs> I'm liking it. The combat is so good in this. Spider Fang. What else we got? What else we got? Did I miss stuff? I don't think I did. Oh, I can pick these. Mallow Sweets, nice. The combat is really fun, yes, Lofty, it absolutely is. It's so satisfying. Not a headless skeleton in sight. But I may as well help myself with this. These are timed again, but where's the other ones? I'm gonna have to figure this out before I start doing them, but. I need to look around. Never mind, am I gonna do it right away? Is there more? What? Oh. <laughs> Wait, was that the one? I hit that one, I think. One, two. One, two, three. Oh, just had to do it faster. <laughs> he didn't say at that time, like, oh, I didn't do it fast enough. You just got to do them faster. That's all there is to it. The combat does does look so amazing. It's fun. Like when you get the hang of it and start figuring out your spell combos and stuff and paying attention to when you have dark magic and the especially like the throw ability, you'll see like the RB pop up behind them and stuff that that'll throw like an object at them. You gotta like really be paying attention to a lot of it, but when you can chain stuff together, it it's so satisfying. All right, this is gonna be another battle. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. Here it is, the map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Oh, the Merlin. That's what. Who was saying that? Scorsaza. The Merlin trials helped the um, gear slots. Oh, wow. You just missed that? Oops. 
I gotta pay attention to when stuff's gonna hit. Oh, that, that I can't hit. I can't block those. Those ones are better. Oh, my Xbox just phantomly turned on. Oh, come on. I thought that one was coming. There we go. Oh, we got three big ones. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. First off, boom. Dead. Thank you very much. All right, well, that doesn't do much. I gotta get these little these little light things. They build up my magic, my ancient magic. Oh, one down. Boom. Uh, we need to get rid of some more gear because I keep filling up my gear. <laughs> we'll get rid of this. I'll get rid of this. I need to go. I'm, I'm about to go do like all Merlin trials after this. Just find every single one of them and increase my uh, gear amount. Investigate the traces okay. of ancient magic. Huh? Oh, they're not in that chest here. I didn't realize it like locked me in here. <laughs> Blue four eyes spectacles. And again, now that I just picked those two things up, my gear is full again. Yeah. Oh. All right, we got the door here. Yes. The goop. The goop that brings the door. Whoop. Where am I? Revelio. Good question. Oh no. The room's starting to flood. Um Do we do something about that? What sort of magic is this? Yo, this is sick. Everything just looks so good in this game. Like this is like, they didn't even need to do this, but this just adds so much I to the this magic storytelling. Able to make my way out of here. Absolutely incredible. What is this place? Yo. <laughs> That's so good. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh. Drop my remote. Woo. Excuse me. Can it be? Oh, Rackham. It's Rackham again. Sick. What's up, Rackham? It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. 
I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention, and might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. Nice, 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 nice. By now, our ability gives us a if anyone's still lurking, please make sure to hit that lurk. I don't know if it still counts. We can access I appreciate you guys lurking and hanging out, though. Magic the few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I, I won't Professor. squander them. Thank you. We have much to discuss, but first, a map found in a certain book. Sugi squish. Sugi squish. The book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. I gotta come back here with the book, huh? I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. Ah. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside. Those are of you. Are you a seer? He's a seer. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. Interesting. Very we'll bring well. the book then. Oh, but we will have right some other stuff to Good. do first. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Your connection to ancient magic has unlocked talents. Yes! You will receive one talent point each time you increase your wizarding level. You have new talent points to spend in the talent spender field guide. Let's go. I needed that. All right, we can spec out here. You've earned talent points plus one starting at level five. You may spend these talent points as you wish to enhance your spells to increase your combat power, stealth, and more. Choose wisely. Talent points may only be spent once, so the number of talents you acquire will be limited. Return here often to see what new and powerful talents await you. Oh. This is where we choose if we want to go dark arts. Like core, obviously, overall effectiveness is good. The room of requirement. Potion and combat plants. I don't know if I want to, I don't want to like lean toward potion and combat plants. I might put some in there. But like spells, dark arts, and core are probably going to be the ones I'm going to go for. Go for. Um, do I get to see what they are first? All right, good. Uh, basic cast impacts reduce spell cooldowns. That's kind of nice for chaining together those other ones, the ones that are cooling down while you're spamming the hell out of them with the regular cast. Protego absorption. Successful Protego blocks will contribute to the ancient magic meter. Oof, oof. That's good. Ancient magic throw catches and throws disarmed enemy weapons. That's, man, this is a whole new level now. <laughs> this is going to be a whole new level of combat. Holding down dodge allows you to vanish quickly and reappear nearby. <laughs> oh, I love it. What are we looking at here? I don't even know which way to go. A new spell set is added. Hold RT and tap in a direction to swap to an unlocked spell set. That's going to be so useful when I have a lot more um, useful abilities. That one's going to be useful in the long run. Uh, spell knowledge one. A new spell set is added so you get one new spell set, I'm guessing. You get two new spell sets. Interesting. Winged one heals you to a greater effect. All right, so... I think, first off, Swift sounds freaking sick. Let me see what these other ones are before I go and commit to this. If any of you guys have suggestions, let me know. Expelling Armist has the same effect as a curse on enemies. Cursed enemies take increased damage. That's nice. Dealing damage to a cursed target inflicts damage to all cursed targets. So I could essentially expel the Armist then and curse a bunch and then damage one and it'll damage all of them. Stupefy has the same effect as a curse on enemies. So that's the same thing as this. These two are kind of the same. Must be able to class, uh, cast fl Flipendo. Flipendo has... Alright, so that those all are cur those all to curse, basically. That's good, though. Um, 
Incendio Mastery. Casting Incendio releases unleashes a ring of flame around you. That's dope. That's so dope. Enemies near a target summoned by Axio are also or Ac Accio are also pulled to you. Enemies near a target levitated by Levioso are also levitated. All right, that's sick. All right, so we're gonna go core first off. I'm getting Swift because that just is gonna be so much fun. And then we're gonna do what are these other ones? Successful Protego blocks will contribute to the ancient magic meter. I like that because I like the ma ancient magic. Basic cast, yeah, that one. And then catch and throw disarmed enemy weapons. That one's gonna be that one might be tough to use at first. I might also save some. What's what stealth hat do we have? Enemy's ability to detect you is reduced. Human demiguys allows you to sprint while using disillusionment. Interesting. I'm going to probably save a bunch of these points until the situation arises that like I'm like, oh, that could be really useful. We'll have to see. But this one, the incendio one first off is really cool too. Like the ring of fire for when you're getting attacked by like a mob. That's going to be so useful. Um, and I think that's it for now. For now, I'm going to keep it like that. Adira's potion makes you invulnerable, invulnerable and deflects projectile attacks back to enemies. Okay. This is so cool. And I'm, I'm going to probably do one of these eventually too. But for now, we're going to stick with that. We're going to stick with what we got there. Now, do I have to... Does that just automatically equip? Like, what's the things that go on to gear? These uh, trait... Trait slot level 3. Traits. Yeah, I got three legendaries already for these. The black rivet gloves aren't even the best one that I have, though. So we might as well go ornate two-tone. But I'm going to make them look like the black rivet. Because that's my favorite looking one so far with this outfit. This one actually looks pretty cool, too. Those are animated. Legendary gloves. Those are pretty cool too. I like these though. All right. What do we got for face wear? We're just going to upgrade stuff right now. Definitely this. And again, we're going to make it invisible. Oh, we can do like a skull mask. Oh yeah. The horn beak mask. The beak skull mask was a part of the, uh, the what the hell is it called the tests on like the wb games um website thing yeah we're gonna do nothing though noblis coat obviously we're going with that one but we're gonna change the appearance of course And we got better headwear. 21, 22. But this is superb, which I'm going to be able to apply traits to. So I'm going to go with this for now because I know I'm going to be able to apply traits to it. It'll make it invisible. An outfit that's the best we got so far. I don't know how to apply the traits though. Do you guys know how to apply traits to things? Trait slot level three. Like, how do I apply traits to that, though? Upgrades. Blank, blank, blank. No upgrades applied. Not too sure. Fair enough, though. All right. Uh, inventory. There's the pages from the ancient book that we just got. 
And then we need the whole book and bring it back here, apparently. And I got more talent points, but that's all right. We're going to we're gonna not do that right away. I got to go do that. That one. The Lost Astrolabe. And wand handles for gobs of gobstones. Nice. All right, so we got a lot to do. Oh, there's other stuff like in here. You got to make sure to go in here and unlock things. Which I guess I don't have. Oh, here is one. Claim reward. Claim reward. So that just gave me more stuff, no? Yeah, that's sick. The pensive protector looks so dope. All right. Um, and yeah, no, we, have, we know we have talents. All right. I just unlocked more stuff of gear, though, didn't I? No, I guess not. All right, cool. Thank you, Nebula Hunters, for the lurk refresh. I appreciate it. I'm staying above that three mark. As long as I stay above that three mark. Consecutive viewers, man. I need to get my uh, my average up. What is this? What did that not trouble mind? Skull Bashinga. Hold on. I think I have my uh, alert box too far up there. Sorry. Thank you for the follow, though. Thank you so much. <laughs> Oh, that was Skull Bashing Girl. Hey, Skull Bashing Girl. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you so much for the view. I hope if you're just going to hang out, you can leave a lurk tab for me so I can keep up on the uh, average viewership. I would appreciate it. Or you can hang out, chat. We got a bunch of people in here. <laughs> All right. Let's make our moves out of here. That was a that was a really good mission. Like I liked that whole quest. Going through the cave, the fighting. That was that was a really good quest. Oh. A knuckles is cracking. I found the pages in the map chamber. Why would I need the book? Uh because the guy says you need the book, bruh. Exit the map chamber. Oh. Yeah, now we just have a flu flame right to the map chamber. Convenient. How convenient. Do do do. But look how nice this is. Oof, beautiful. All right, we're gonna go back this way a bit. Oh. Let me, uh, I, wonder when I gotta re up my lurks. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. On Faja and my. Oh, Faja's off. Till he returns with the book. Nebula, father's off. It looks like father's off. Hmm. Sugiya, yeah, he's off. All right. Fair enough. I think mother's still on, though. Actually, is she? Or her's not loading for me. Nebula, I see Nebula's still on. I don't know if mother's still on. Father and mother are both off? Ah, that's what it is. It's not like loading on my mother one either. All right, so at least on Nebula's, I'm lurking there. All right, let's get out of here. Did we just end up back in Hogwarts? What? <laughs> what? Uh, okay. Flying class? Yo, uh, screw all the side quests. We're going to flying class, bro. <laughs> yes, please.
We're going straight to flying class. Wait, I'm not currently tracking anything? Yes, I am. Flying class. Oh, I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't tracking it. Now I am. Fair enough. Fair whoa, whoa, whoa. You guys saw that lag? That big old lag spike? I need to go get my broom though. That's that's priority number one right now. I can do side quest after. Rebellion. All right. All right. Perfect. Let's go. Go to flying class. Oh, there's so many brooms here. What, I gotta wait till morning? <laughs> You're just going to sit there and wait. We're going to lay out on the grass, yo. We're just going to lay out on the grass and chill. Oh, yeah. Begin. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Oh, this is so good. This is so Mr. good. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone. Please welcome a new student to our flying class. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. <laughs> we'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Not a fan, I take it. Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up firmly and clearly. Up then firmly and clearly. And rest your weight on the seat. Yes. Yes. Up. I've been waiting for this. Thank you. <laughs> now, Thank you. Turn. Thank you so much. Up. 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 Sick. One leg over. First try, we got it. Leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. None of that side saddle nonsense. Oh my god, this is so exciting. You're in flight, I'm like a little kid. Ooh. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do okay. Take care. Well, this will take some getting used to. Property. I want them returned <laughs> in one piece. This is brilliant. Okay. Easy enough. When can I go faster? Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Absolutely. This next set of rings. Flight speed toggle. Runs. Descend, descend. Oh, yes. What a view. Hello. Hello. Sugi, I need your help with, um, if you're in here still. Sugi, I need your help with the, uh, squish command. Like, what are the, uh, things I need to put in? I would appreciate your help with that one. I know you're good with squishes. I was trying to do it earlier. Thank you, Sugi. If you gotta put it in Discord, I'm in there. Don't worry. He has stream elements. But like, you guys have it set up to where it like says the person's name and like counts it for the, you know, how many squishes. Yeah, I do have stream elements. I do. I set it up in, instead of the chatbot from Streamlabs. Sick. Yeah, I need that. I want that stuff. <laughs> 
Thank you, Lofty Guy, for the re-up on the Lurk. I appreciate it. You guys are really helping me here with the uh, concurrent viewership. If I can get that up to a three. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I can't wait I to get an upgraded broom, too. A bit more challenging. I think that's what but we're going to do a YouTube video we for. Not the, not that, but to get money. To get quick no money. Like you might be interested I've read in up on something, then we're going to make a video on it for YouTube, but people, if they don't know how to do it. Am I right in suspecting that Gryffindor, you like, might be interested in a high-flying adventure? Yeah. Can't yes. No to that. Of course. Have a, mind. a bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Where is he? Follow closely now. Ah. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Lovely as ever. All right, here we go. I forgot that descend is the right analog stick. The headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff. This is so good. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Oh, LT is speed oh. burst? Ah. Oh. Now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. That's so Think good. Of all the magic holding it up. I mean, oh, it's so gorgeous. It. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. Dang, he goes fast. I think I need a better broom. Press B. <laughs> That's so good. You DM'd me? Thank you, Sugi. I gotta hook that up. I have stream elements up, too. Oh, come on. They're taking our points? Mr. Clopton. I am disappointed in you. He taught you're me some cool stuff, you're though. Because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom, the proper respect. But, Professor... Enough. Class is finished for the day. Adam Kagawa. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. <laughs> At least she recognizes. At least she recognizes. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. They were worth it. I have no regrets. It was worth losing a few house <laughs> points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. Uh, if you can, you should. I could do that. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spint, which is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. There we go. All right, that should work now. I think I got. I think I got it working. Squish should be in there now. 
All right, we're gonna do, we're gonna do a little thing. Also turn down the timer. So people don't do it too much. Oh, in the advanced settings. User cooldown 10. Uh, global cooldown zero. Command cost. <laughs> Both. I'd move it down to like five. Okay. User cooldown five. Because then people can squish back to back to back. Perfect. Got it. I can also do this one. The lurk one. Because otherwise it's like a 15 second wait. Yeah, that's too much. I put it at five seconds. Perfect. <laughs> Squish. There we go. We got Squish set up. Finally. All right, I want to do, um, all right, I want to do, I'm going to be doing this YouTube video. We're going to show how to get quicks, quick monies. So, now you go to Hogsmeade. I'm going to do like all the parts to this video and then I'll, I'll edit it out later, you know, edit it up later and show people what they got to do. Oh, I don't need the waypoint. I should get travel there. Because I did read up on this and it's a lot of, cash very quickly early on in the game so we're gonna do we're gonna get all the cash each of these locations and get a bunch of cash and then we'll um i'll make a video of it late you know in a little while here and release it for you too for everyone that doesn't know about it roads lead to hogsmeade all right so What we got to do is we got to go up to the north end of Hogsmeade and right here ish right here ish we're going to go to here first uh, wait can I can I just get on my broom now how do you get on your do, do I not have a broom yet even though I learned flying I don't think I have a broom yet, huh? Nah, don't. Don't pay attention to the other commands. It's surprise. All right. All right. There's lots of commands. Just see. <laughs> yeah, you got lots of commands. I'm gonna like that one. We're gonna see. We got we're not that far off from your debut. We're not that far off from Sugi's debut. If you guys aren't already, go make sure to follow Sugi the Slime. I'm pretty sure everyone in this chat will know Sugi the Slime, but you guys got to go follow him. His debut is on the 23rd. It's coming up quick. It's coming up quick. All right, so I think I can go this way. Yeah, I, can, I can climb this. All right, so here... Oh, there's a little chest here. My gear slots are full. I gotta sell some stuff, but that's okay. I can actually go in and sell some stuff here real quick. Come on inside. Oh, hello. Watch yourself, though. Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry, I'm in a bit Beatrice of a Green. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as 
Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, uh, mind you, don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't <laughs> need to stop so many of the little dears. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. Oh, fantastic. I love Herbology. Kirby, no welcome back. Oh, Were you lurking this whole time and not... I wasn't in, knowing I'm it. No mood for a clear up. Herbology's great. Someone died here. She's I saying someone died here? Really, that it was just the one. Now then, how may I help you today? I think I'll just have a look around for now. Yeah, hey, I need I need her shop. I need her shop so I can sell some stuff. Anything you like? You're lurking always good. I'm glad. I'm glad you're here, Kirby. Uh, let's see his her wares. It helps me mine crypto through Twitch. Really? Well, <laughs> how's that? What's available? <laughs> mine some crypto. Huh? Uh, we want to sell some of our lower level stuff. Like we're just gonna start selling like our green <laughs> stuff because we're not wearing it. Until they're sold, then you'll have to make do. Oh, the violet lock scarf is actually a good offensive one. Might keep that for now. Unbeatable Quidditch gloves. We'll get rid of this. Uh, we'll get rid of. We get rid of these. Okay. They're called bits. <laughs> Wait, you can mine bits? <laughs> That'd be cool. Oh, there's one. All right. So this is part of the money making thing that we can do. So these chests here with the eyes, I've learned they see they unlock when they're not looking, but they when you when they see you, they lock right up. So what we need to do is equip the disillusionment spell. And hit us with it, and then we can approach him and search him. And that's 500 coins right there. 500 money. So that's that's number one right there inside of this house. This is going to be the YouTube video. I'm going to show everyone that they can get, I think it's like 12,000 coin. Or no, 6,000 uh, money Doesn't in Hogsmeade alone. Cozy than Hogsmeade. So... We're going to do that real quick, um, and that's going to be turned into a YouTube video. So, you guys were seeing the creation of YouTube video clips. <laughs> you got to stick with me while I while I do all this YouTube hunting. This coin hunting. Uh, the second one we'll do is right, right here. Let's see. Second one is, I think, in here. So I'm going to make all the clips for everyone. I'll make a little map for everyone on YouTube to view and they can follow along in getting all these beautiful, beautiful coins. So let's see if there's another one in here. Oh, a butterfly thing. What's in here? Silver room spectacles. All right. I need to find this one though. I don't have... See, this is when I need that that thing where I have a second set of spells. <laughs> we need this. Lumos. That's just a cliff face. There's a lot of cliff faces around here, right? Accio. Oh, right there. Lumos. Come with me, little butterfly. Oh. I guess I can't climb things. Here we go. Boom. What? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> it took it a second. Nice. Field guide page in Hogmeade. I like it. All right, we got to find the... Um, there's a chest with an eye uh, somewhere here. We gotta find it. <clears throat> this is where I gotta like go and look look at. See, I don't have like a video to go look at. At least I didn't really look for a YouTube video that someone did this exact thing that I'm doing here. But there is guides like on showing people where these 
chest star, and I'm just showing everyone that they can do this early on in the game because you get disillusionment very quickly in the game. And then if you need you need money, you want to buy some cool gear, you want to like eventually I'm gonna be able to buy a, a new broomstick and I want all the money for that. Um so number seven. Oh, behind the crypt in the cemetery. Okay. We're gonna go down here. Yeah, let me out. Let me out. Let me out of here. Uh, I think this is the large crypt. Yep. All right. So right here. Whoops. We're going to go disillusionment and we're going to sneak up on this little bastard. Boom. Another 500. Another 500. You can see where I am on the map here. Right here. The other one was inside of this uh, dogweed and death cap area uh, store. All right, so the next one is actually right here by the bridge. That's number six. It's in a hallway near the central bridge. Wait. Yeah, we can just go straight here. Oh, there it is. All right, so we can just start at the central bridge here. And we'll just go and sneak up on him. Another 500 beans. Woo! I mean, 500 every single one of these chests. That's like, that's pretty insane. Considering you only get like 60 for each, you know, item you have, like a green item. 500 is a lot. Um, the fourth one is at the Dervish and Banjes uh, house thing. Or wait, Dervish and Bandages is oh, it's the coffee place. So it's like back here. Yeah, it's like back here. Wait, why can't we just go? I think we can just go this way. Let me over here. <laughs> so much to explore, Kirby? Yeah, there is a ton to explore. More money's there. But we're looking for all these eye chests. I'm trying to show everyone the locations of these eye quests. Or eye quest, eye chests. Because <laughs> they give you 500 each time. I think it's in here. Can I not get it? Where's Dervish and Banjo's shop? What? Joke shop? Three broomsticks? Oh, right next to Glag. Right, right. It's besides his wizard where he is. So we gotta go around. So it's this one. No, this is the actual one. We need... Oh, it is right here. There it is. There we go. Closes its eye, it unlocks. And boom, 500. Every time. 
more stuff all right cool um so that was so that was right here Yeah, all right, so that's in basically right next to Gladrag's Wizard Bear. All right, next one, and look. I'll show you guys after we're done with how much money we got. So the other one is just passed in another chest to your right of Brood and Pack's shop. So it's actually, yeah, it's like right to the right of it. Hacking and reading walkthroughs. Strategy guides, mate. I'm not, um, it's, they're really just locations of these chests. That's cool. Um, but like I found out that they give 500 coins per chest. And when I was reading about it, there was 12 or 13 of them in Hogsmeade. And all you need is the disillusionment charm. And a lot of people are wondering how they can get money. Um, and like, there's not a lot of guy. There's some guides out there, but like my channel, I have certain people. I'll have enough for that. Oh, look at him. Ah, well, not meant to be. Also, over a dustbin back there. Boom. As always. People on my channel seem to want like informational stuff on my YouTube channel, so. We're giving them more informational stuff and it's kind of like hard to find this this stuff so seeing like a video of someone where they are helps squish all big squish for sugi to slime squish squish see see sugi why did it give it to you even though you said at all hmm i would have thought it said squish for all or like at all Near Brood and Peck. Oh, there's another page. Mine. Hmm, yeah, I don't know. I entered it in like you said. Uh, this is Brood and Peck's though, so we can't be that far off of it. Oh, I almost had it. That page dipped. A big old lock there. It should be like it should be it should be like right here. This is Brood and Pex. Oh, I see it. It's down there. All right, so from Brood and, Brood and Pex. We're right, where are we right now? So on the map, we're up here. Right next to Brood and Pex. Go to my channel and type something I need to test. Okay. One second. I gotta find yours because yours for some reason never comes up in search, but maybe it's because you don't stream yet. There we go. I just click on your name in the chat. Screw it. <laughs> oh, I did not mean to pin that. Ah. All right, there you are. Wait, how am I not? I absolutely follow you. What? And now it's not showing that I follow you. I'm confused. 
All right, Sugi, how do I, uh, I keep pinning messages. I don't mean to pin. All right. Put Sugi in a slurp machine to cool. Oh, you figured it out, Sugi? All right. Because I, I see um, your channel, but how do I chat in your channel when you don't have anything? I guess I would have to click some. I don't, yeah, I don't know how to chat in your thing. <laughs> no. <clears throat> oh, so it should be big squish for two user. Let's try that. Mm -mm. All right, let me get out of this while that loads. Wait, stream elements didn't load? Click the name again when on the channel. Oh. Let me do that. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. There we go. Big squish for at all. All right, so it's two user. It's two user. Yeah, I, I didn't put it in yet. I'm getting there. I was I was actually messaging your your channel, Sugi. Custom. Okay, so now it should work. Now save that. And that should work. That should work now. Now it's fixed. Now you can try again, Sugi, when you're not timed out. <laughs> it still don't work. <laughs> oh, wait. Sorry, I did the lurk one. I'm dumb. Not your fault. I It was the, the one that at the top for some reason. Two users, save. Okay. Now Squish is good. <laughs> and it did check it, saved. Global cooldown zero, five user cooldown. Now it's saved. All right, let me go back. We gotta find the next one, which is number two. Um, cross the bridge and look at the house to your left. That's next to where we just were actually. So the next one is going to be cross the bridge. Look at the house to your left. So it's actually like right here. Yep, it's right there. So literally we just found one right here and then there's one right next to it, like right here. I can see where I am. 
I got the bridge there. All right, that's that one. Now we gotta go to south. We gotta go to the south side area. Big squish for all. There we go. Squish, squish. I only need 11 more followers for the 50. Oh, sick. You're gonna you're gonna have 50 before you even start streaming. <laughs> you're gonna end up starting stream with 50. That'd be sick. We'll get you there. We still got 10 days. We're gonna get you there. All right, the next ones I need. At this point, yeah, at this point you are. All right, Hogsmeade South. Western part of Magic Meep. Which the Magic Meep was... This one? Magic Meep is up here. That's right, that's right, that's right. Sometimes it seems all roads oh, lead to Hogsmeade. <laughs> Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Is that right? Can I swim? All right, so this is number eight we're getting now. So already this will be 2,000 coins? No, 4,000 coins. All right, so there's one in here. Oh, it's you. What a pleasant surprise. Where is it though? To the Western side of the magic meep, it says. There it is. All right, so starting from the magic meep here. There's another 500. So that should be, let me see real quick first. Doesn't tell much how many coin we have. Oh, there it is. 4,720. So I think I had, I think I only had 720, right? Because eight, four of them would be 2,000. So yeah, that was 4,000. I only had 720 coins to start this. I'm at 4,720 now. And I still have more to get. There is still... Five more to get. So this one, so everyone can see it on the map in the YouTube video, is right here. Boom. All right, the next one is under this bridge. Hey, give me that. Where? Oh, it's right there. Boom. We're just stacking up the monies. The next one. An old house next to a broken down cart, which is a little bit more. Well, actually, let me show. Let's show where this one is. For the map part. All right, and the next one is it's actually like right down here. I can't really get through that way. I think I have to go around. 
What's this? Oh, that's where we're gonna trim the hedges. <laughs> oh, that's so good. All right, we're just getting stacked out on money right now. All right, guys, that's the goal. We got 4,500 money so far right now. There's another one right there. As sus suspected. Uh, so all you gotta do is disillusion yourself. And creep up on it and you go boom. There's another 500 right there. We're at 5,000 coins already. 5,000 monies. Just from going around Hogsmeade for 10 minutes. So that one is right here. Actually, I just want to remove this waypoint. Because it's right here. So this is Hogshead. It's right behind this house. All right. That's where that one is. The next one. <clears throat> the next one is going to be right here ish. We'll just run right over. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? I don't know if it gets any more cozy than Hogsmeade. Oh, here's another little chest. Pick that one up while we're over here. The other one. Other one, is it inside of it? Yeah, in the bedroom of the Tomes and Scrolls shop. All right, so we just go into Tomes and Scrolls. Take your time looking about. Plenty of wonderful books to stoke a curious mind like yours. Aha! Uh -huh. I think that's what we needed, actually. Revelio. Oh no, it's downstairs. It's behind him. Yeah, there it is. So good. 500 coin. 500 for each of those, man. And then there's so many in Hogwarts too, but I'm doing the ones in here first because they're all so close together and I think people have a much easier way of finding them because it's all outside. Okra. Okra Quidditch gloves. Thank you, Nebula Hunters, for the re-up on the lurk. I appreciate you so much. Oh, that thing just dipped. All right, sweet. All right, that was... Uh, Let's just give a quick check. Wait, so obviously I can do the map thing in here. I was wondering when I'd see you again. Boom. In Tomes and Scrolls. Behind him in the bedroom. That's where that one is. Nice and easy. The next one. It's a little bit further. The next one. We got to go. Actually, we haven't even found that. Oh, I guess we did. Oh, the way they stretch this is just odd. It's literally like right behind this house. Revelio. That's eight out of eight. Can't wait to get a little more. Start unlocking stuff. I 
I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Hogsmeade, here I come. There it is. <laughs> so right now we're here on the map. And we're just going to go up here. Boom. And that one is located right there. All right, the last one. The last one we're going to do is way at the bottom of Hogsmeade. Like, not even technically in Hogsmeade anymore, but we're gonna do it. See this path right here, this leads to, this path right here leads to one. Oh my God, that's so good. I think it's actually, it might, It might actually be down here. Maybe not. No, 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 no. Let's climb our asses back up there. It's gotta be up on this thing, no? Yep, it's right here. So there's the dragon. And there we go. All right, so that's all 13 of the chests in Hogsmeade. And if you look here now, we'll go to gear, 7,258. And I started out with like 720 guys. Like if you're early on in the game or you haven't started yet and you're interested in the game, early on you get the disillusionment spell, which all you need to do is walk away from those eyeball chests, cast the disillusionment spell, and you'll have the uh, invisibility basically. When you're far enough away from them, they won't be looking at you, so they leave their latches unlocked. And then you crawl up with disillusionment and you can open it super, excuse me, super easily. And I just got... I don't know, 6,500 money. Like that's such easy money right away. And we're when we're gonna get the um, ability to purchase a broom and stuff, we're gonna really enjoy having that amount of money. So we'll, we'll uh, definitely be using that soon here. I like that there's a dragon thing here. Look at this. Ah, uh, so nice. It's just a little dragon. Hello. <laughs> all right so i think i'm gonna end it here though we're at two hours in that's how long i like to keep my gameplays anyway and uh yeah i'll go make my youtube video and then we'll start back up next time i have so many side quests and stuff to do room requirement uh into the shadow of the undercroft that's cool dark uh defense against dark arts which we get from fringo there's going to be so much to do. Um, all right. But thank you guys so much for hanging out through the stream and helping me get the um, concurrent viewership past the three mark. Uh, I hope that this stream did it because I know we were we were definitely well over the three mark um, this whole time. So maybe this will sway the <laughs> the average. I don't know. Hopefully this will sway the average enough. If not, I appreciate you guys helping and I'll, I'll probably be asking for you guys' help again when I go on stream again. Um, tomorrow's not going to be the day because tomorrow is um valentine's day <laughs> and i got a girlfriend uh we're going to spend the night together and do you know a couple of stuff do some dinner and whatnot so but on wednesday then that'll mean i'll be back on stream and i'll be needing you guys' help again to get me past that three mark thank you guys so much for joining me though i appreciate you all sugi as always thank you for all the help you're amazing nebula hunters i appreciate you lurking and hanging out in here i hope you have a fantastic night too sugi Thank you so much. Nebula Hunters, I appreciate you a lot. 
Um, I will definitely be jumping onto your mother and father's stream whenever I see it happening. Thank you, Kirby Canvas Curse, for always lurking and hanging out. I appreciate you so much. GG, Kirby Canvas Curse says. Thank you, Kirby. GG to you as well. Thank you all who else is lurking in here. JD Gaming Wolf, thank you for joining. I appreciate you hanging out as well. Lofty Guy, I like talking to you. That was awesome. You, got, you guys are great. Ericus is here. As always, Ericus, thank you for joining me and probably lurking and hanging out watching. Scorsaza, thank you for hanging out. If you need any more help with those uh, videos and stuff um, and you want to bounce some ideas off, I'm here. Um, and you have me on, tw uh, on Twitter, I believe, as well. So I'll talk to you on there. Um... Anyone else? I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If anyone else was in here, I appreciate you being in here. I hope you guys all have a fantastic night. Everyone on there on the Twitch and everyone on YouTube that's watching this back. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, a fantastic night, whatever time it is for you guys. I hope it's fantastic. I love you guys so much and goodbye.